bilar madrim if you study a large number of people who ovulate you will find out that some of them ovulate early and some of them ovulate late and most ovulate somewhere in the middle so here in this video we will talk about late ovulation along with its causes and effects on fertility what is considered as the normal ovulation time the general consensus is that normal length of the menstrual cycle from one period to the next is 28 days and ovulation normally occurs at day 14 how accurate is that in the real world A retrospective study was done on the menstrual cycle lengths and patterns in global cohort of women using a mobile phone app. The study involved 1.5 million women who were tracking their ovulation using mobile phone app. Only 16% of them had cycle length of 28 days. Just under 20,000 tracked their day of ovulation. Here is the data from that analysis. Here you can see that there was wide range of variations in the days that the people ovulated. Most people ovulated on the day 14th of their cycle compared to any other day, but about 37% of them ovulated on day 13th and 15th. 80% ovulated between day 12 and 20th. We can call this as normal range of ovulation. If someone doesn't ovulate till day 21, this is called late ovulation. So what are the causes of late ovulation? It tends to be the same factors that cause people not to ovulate at all. The most common cause of ovulation problem is polycystic ovarian syndrome also called PCOS. This affects about 4 to 20% of women globally. PCOS can be challenging to diagnose because there are so many differences among the people who have PCOS. Some people with PCOS are overweight while others are thin. some of them have symptoms like unwanted hair growth or hair loss and other do not have these symptoms to make things even more complicated different organizations have different criteria for making the diagnosis of pcos and you can find all these in the i button in the top right corner of this video another cause of late ovulation is hypothyroidism this is when the thyroid gland is not producing the normal level of thyroid hormones About one in every five adults have the problem of hypothyroidism, but not all of them have ovulation problems. Unlike PCOS, hypothyroidism is easy to diagnose with blood tests and easy to treat with medications. Some people may have high level of pituitary hormone called prolactin. This is known as hyperprolactinemia. When prolactin level is very high, ovulation may not occur at all. in less severe cases it may cause the late ovulation there are several forms of prolactin in the body but only one form interferes with ovulation most of the people are unaware of the fact that exercising too much can delay ovulation ovulation requires energy from the body people who exercise vigorously burn a lot of calories if they do not eat enough calories to keep up with this that can interfere with the ovulation It is more common to see this problem in runners and dancers who are often thin but is common in anybody who burn more calories than they consume. The treatment is to exercise less and eat more. What about vitamins? Study from re researchers at Harvard University found out that women who reported lower iron intake are more likely to have ovulation problems. In 2006 a study was conducted on nearly 20000 women who tried to become pregnant. The results showed that women who took iron supplements were 40% less likely to suffer from ovulation problems. The time to conceive study found out that the people with a vitamin D deficiency are more likely to ovulate late compared to the people with normal ovulation. Does ovulating late make it more difficult to become pregnant? As long as the patient is attempting pregnancy when she ovulates then people who ovulate late can become pregnant at the same rate than the people who ovulate on time or early however over the course of the year people with late ovulation will have less opportunity to become pregnant so thank you so much that was all about late ovulation its causes and its effects on fertility subscribe on obsen gyni channel And if you want me to make more video about specific ops and gynae topic write in the comment section of this video and I will reply you. So thank you so much Allah Hafiz.